The Communist Party of China, usually called the CPC, was born in 1921, but it was conceived when the Russian Revolution ended in 1917. Some of the first CPC members, actually, they were interested in Western individualism and culture. Then they made a sharp turn toward Marxism following the Bolshevik victory. Here are some decisive dates in the Communist Revolution of China. Early 1920s, Mao Zedong and other leaders begin organizing labor unions in urban areas. The CPC and Nationalist Party joined forces here during the period. 1927, the Nationalist Party breaks with the Communist. Civil war breaks out between the two. Jumped in 1949, with the Nationalists defeated, Mao formally establishes the People's Republic of China, which still exists today. 1966, Mao launches the Cultural Revolution, calling on the nation's youth to purge the impure elements of Chinese society and revive the revolutionary spirit. Some 1.5 million people are killed. Millions more suffer from imprisonment and torture. 1972, American President Richard Nixon visits, and both countries declare a desire to normalize relations. 1976, Mao dies. The Gang of Four, including Mao's widow, jockey for power, but they're arrested and convicted of crimes against the state, and a party institutionalist is left holding power. 1986 through 1990, China's open-door policy encourages foreign investment and development and a market economy, a private sector. But there's still a Marxist-Leninist system, just one party in town here. 1989, there's the government crackdown on student protest in Tiananmen Square, watched by the world, the students who opposed a heavy-handed, corrupt leadership. Fast forward 2013, Xi Jinping becomes president of China. The CPC today claims 86 million members, of which 77% are men. Here's a breakdown outlined by the Council on Foreign Relations of how the party works. The CPC convenes its National Party Congress every five years. Nearly 3,000 delegates elect the president. They decide major policy issues and choose the Central Committee, which has around 370 members. The Central Committee acts as the board of directors for the party, and it selects the Politburo, which has only 25 members. The Politburo elects a seven-person standing committee, which is the nucleus of CPC power. Xi Jinping is a member of that standing committee. He is general secretary, president, and head of the military. He exerts enormous influence in setting parameters for government policy. And it looks like President Xi will serve indefinitely. So the party has its leader, and the nation has what appears to be an emperor for life.